Hello, hello everybody, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome back to Taisho Alice. We had our final intro song music video thingy, and wow, it was surely magical. It just says that it is magical that we're actually at the final episode <laughs> of this game. And it's called Epilogue, not episode 4. So we're in the end game now, I guess. Which is appropriate, considering we only have one boy left, which is our boy Alice here, so... Yeah, I'm excited. I... Man, what a journey this has been, guys. Just... I can't believe we're actually here. <laughs> I did not know what I was getting into when we started this whole thing, but... I'm here for all of it. Pretty much. Just... Yes. Yes to everything. We learned quite a bit last time. We were doing Snow White and the Wizard's Roots, and lots of backstory in there. So I think we're, I mean, we're as equipped as we're ever going to be. And I feel fairly confident-ish going into this. Um, Alice only has one bad ending, so that's good. And I think he has a grand end and a good end. And you can see he's playing chess and where does the chess come in, and how does this all play into everything we've learned so far? I'm just excited to, to figure everything out, so let's jump in! Find out together. I'm so excited. Oh, and we start off with the boy himself in his modern-day clothing. And this is from his perspective, because he's got a blue outline. All right, all right, all right. I'm in. Where am I? I keep walking and walking, but I can't seem to find a single exit. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. I can't even tell how far I've walked, or how much time has passed. What am I doing here? I can't remember anything. Hello? Wait. Is this how we looked the entire time? <laughs> No, wait, we did have a CG of Yurika holding Alice's hand. Okay, because I'm like, did Alice just see himself when every time we walk through? Because that's pretty crazy. Is anyone there? If you're there, say something. Please. No one's here. Was I always alone? Or did I lose someone along the way? I don't know. I don't know anything. Ah! Oh! What's happening? I'm disappearing! I don't want this! Stop! Please! 
I don't want to disappear! Someone! Someone help me! Okay. So, he got eaten by the darkness. Interesting. When I awoke, I found myself lost in a world of darkness. Oh, and then he got changed into a new outfit. Interesting. Okay. Where am I? It's too dark to see anything, and yet I can somehow still see myself. Is this a dream? Am I Alice? If I'm here, then where is Alistair? Where is Alistair? Is Alistair separate from Al- Oh gosh, I've already got so many questions already. Ugh. I had a strong sense of self from the very beginning. That was the difference between him and me. It defined me. As I walked straight through the darkness, there appeared before me a giant looking glass. What is this? A crystal mirror. Cinderella. Snow White. Red Riding Hood. Kaguya. Gretel. Was Cinderella the only one that had his eyes open? Slightly compared to the others? Each of them assigned to their own mirror. Now that Alistair's gone to sleep, they must be asleep too. Wasn't there one more? But he's gone. He's in darkness. This music is so ominous -y. I peered into all the other mirrors, but couldn't find him anywhere. Not only that, but the surface of the mirror was too cloudy for me to even see my own reflection. I can't see through to the other side. Hmm. Alistair. It seems you're still a selfish, weak, pathetic fool who can't do anything on your own. First you cut out your memories to create these guys, and now you want me to help you, even in your dreams. Interesting. I have wondered why, like, the Alice we've come to know is such a, you know, aggressive Sundari butt in comparison <laughs> to the very short bit of Alice we've seen in the Wizard's Route. So is that his true self? Is that his shadow self? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Hair as gold as sunshine, eyes as blue as the sea. Reflected in the mirror was a confident young boy. Aw, he's just a baby. Look at him. Look at this little baby. He's so cute. <sighs> What's the matter? Your ugly mug's only getting uglier at this rate. Ugly mug? Don't we have the exact same face? Yeah, we do. Fair skin, blonde hair, blue eyes. By all metrics, we're conventionally handsome. What's not to like? Aren't you forgetting a prime target for bullying? I don't have dark hair or eyes, so I don't look Japanese. In fact, I don't look like any one ethnicity. No matter where I go, I'm a foreigner. So who am I? Where do I belong? Beats me. If you don't know the answer, then I sure as hell don't. Yeah, that makes sense. Come to think of it, isn't there a party tonight? I'm not going. Why not? I hate those sparkly places. 
and it'll be full of grown-ups I don't know. It won't be any fun. Don't lie. You know you love sparkly stuff. You sure are terrible at being honest with yourself, aren't you? Everyone shows up wearing fancy clothes, and they all drink and talk and dance. It's exactly like the fairy tales you dream of. But... You've always been this way. Pessimistic and cowardly. A selfish, weak, pathetic fool who can't do anything on your own. Yeah, well, you're a narcissistic smartass hiding behind too many layers of irony. Damn, way to call yourself out in both cases. Oh, it's mom! Oh my goodness, this is so weird. What a way to start! There you are, Alice! What are you doing looking in the mirror? At the sound of my name, I turned away from the mirror. He was a secret I kept from everyone. Nothing. So, how about it? Feel like coming to the party? Tonight, your father's friends are bringing their daughter. She's the same age as you, and you'll never believe what her name is. I don't want to go. Oh. I, man, I never, I forgot about that part in Cinderella's route where Eureka's father and Al and Cinderella, sorry, Cinderella's father were family friends and they wanted their kids to get together. I didn't realize that played into this as well. <laughs> Duh. Oh, that's great. I love that. Why not? You might make a new friend. No, I won't. She'll laugh at me and call me a freak like everyone else. Oh, sweetheart. The only reason those mean kids bully you is because they wish they were as cute as you. But... If you really don't want to come, then I can't force you. I'll bring you something to eat a little later. Today I made all your favorites. Okay. Your father and I will be in the ballroom. So if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Got it. Okay then, sweetie. See you later. Also, you get cool mom points for not forcing your kid to go to a party they don't want to go to because... Man, there was a lot of parties I didn't want to go to as a kid. So you're awesome, mom. After my mother left, I muttered at the mirror. She says I'm cute. Only a girl would be happy to hear that. Right? Besides, these parties are just an excuse for mom and dad to show off. They don't need me there. Though my mother is a saint, she can be a little naive. But, eh, that's part of her charm. Yeah. I love mom a lot. She's kind and beautiful. With her glossy black hair and aloof dark eyes, my mom was the coolest. But I'm nothing like her. You sure about that? I'd say you get your love of whimsy from her. You think so? That'd be nice. Alice, I'm so jealous of you. You're a smart talker, and you have a comeback for everything. Nothing ever gets under your skin. The complete opposite of me. I wish I could be like you. Don't be ridiculous. I am you. Shock. Right. You're the other me. Interesting. So that's how it all started. He just wanted to be what he wasn't. So he was like, he made up somebody that was like the complete opposite of him. Oh. Well, now I'm here. And sure enough, the crowd looks just as scary as I thought. Maybe I should leave.
but right as I was about to head back to my room. Oh, I can hear somebody. Somebody's crying. I followed the direction of the sound, drawn to it like a moth to a flame. I knew it. I can hear somebody. Somebody there? <gasps> Who are you? It was a girl. The second she saw me, she started running. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I ran after her. It was a full moon. <sighs> Why would I chase her? Even I didn't understand it. But I wanted to catch her. I needed to catch her. So as we ran, I reached out to her. I said, wait! <laughs> You're really fast, huh? When I called out to her, she whirled around. Oh, look at the two of them! They're so precious! Ah, they're adorable! Oh, I can't, but you guys look like you could be siblings, but you're so cute! You were childhood friends. Or at least, for a night. That's a, that is a Cinderella story, actually. Is this why the first one's Cinderella? Because she ran away from the ball and you chased after her? Oh gosh, is that what that means? <laughs> My heart. Her tearful eyes were the most peculiar color. Oh, cute. She's so cute, right? That fluffy hair. Those red and blue eyes. She was adorable. Don't look at me! But she quickly draped an arm over her face to conceal it. Huh? <laughs> I... I'm sorry, but, um... Why not? <laughs> why are you hiding your face? Because... It's creepy, right? What? I didn't understand. My eyes are weird and creepy. Everybody says it. They say I look like I have a disease. And my hair is weird too. I could relate to how she felt. I too was frequently bullied for my unusual hair, eyes, and name. Let go of me. I refuse. If I do, you'll just run away, won't you? Conflicted, she fell silent. Normally, I would have gone all quiet too, but this time was different. Oh, good grief. This is why I can't stand you shelter types. Well, the other you came out for a second there. Put your arm down and look at me. Huh? Now I was speaking as Alice, not Alistair. Am I weird? I have blonde hair and blue eyes, but I'm a Japanese national. My father is from a different country, but I only know one language. I can't speak a single word of anything else, and I'm not planning to learn. I don't look Japanese, but none of the other countries can claim me either. Does that make me weird? Or creepy, or crazy. N no you are not weird or creepy. That's what I thought. So you're not afraid of me? Why would I be? Because my eyes are so different. You don't think I'm diseased? I do not. You don't think it's creepy that my eyes are red and blue? Not really. They're sparkly and pretty. I love your gemstone eyes and soft, fluffy hair. It's what makes you, you. It makes me, me? That's right. It makes you unique. I'm taking one of those ribbons. 
stop. Stop! Stop this! My heart can't take it! Okay, we- no, this is too much. It's only been like 15 minutes. I can't. I can't. This is where your ribbon comes from too, from this time? Sheesh. Hey! I untied one of the ribbons in her hair and tied it in my own instead. Now we match. Oh, stop! It's too cute! <laughs> I'm just gonna be a puddle of goo in this. Ah. Okay, Alistair, I gotta say, you're you're starting off very strong. <laughs> I'm not even a, a, a fan, really, of the childhood friends trope, but I'm a fan of this. Whatever this is, <clears throat> losing my voice. Whatever this is, I'm a fan of this. There, how's that? See, it's weird for a boy to wear a ribbon, isn't it? Now I'm even weirder than you. They'll all be so busy staring at me, they won't notice your eyes at all. But this is what makes me unique. If somebody wants to call me weird or creepy, well, they have a right to their opinion. But someone out there is bound to like me just the way I am. You mean, like me? Yeah, like you. So, what's your name? I'm Yurika. Yurika Arasa. I'm nine. Arasa, huh? Funny coincidence. So we're the same age, and our names sound a lot alike. Oh, so you're Alice? That's right. Hmm. You know my name, huh? Because I talked to your mom. Gotcha. We sure don't look alike, do we? She scrutinized me for a moment. No, I think you and her have lots in common. Do we? You're the first person who's ever said that. Anyway, what now? I wasn't planning to come all the way out here, but it just kind of happened. <laughs> Do you want to go back? Not yet. Me either. Very well. Normally I don't pal around with you peasants, but I'll make tonight a special exception. If you need me to stay with you, then I will. Okay. That summer night we met beneath the soft moonlight. That was where my story began. That was so cute. After that, we played together every day. Every day? Alice! Alice! What is it? When Arisa was around, I acted like Alice instead of Alistair. Interesting. How interesting. I wanted her to think I was cool. <laughs> Don't we all? Do you like picture books? Picture books? Huh. You really think I'd waste my time on stupid kid stuff? Sorry, but I'm far too dignified and shrewd and intelligent. I only ever read, uh, uh philosophy books. Can't get enough of them. Plato? Descartes? Escargo? That's snail, silly! <clears throat> uh, that was a joke. Anyway, picture books are for dumb little kids who- Your mom told me you liked them. Uh, mom! Well, I have been known to dabble for academic purposes. I've heard that reading picture books as a child fosters emotional maturity. I like that. I dabble in picture books. I've been known to dabble. So you like them? <laughs> well, I like them too. So I was thinking maybe we could read some together. She looked at me anxiously. She was always like this. Smart and capable, but with no self-confidence. Very well. If you insist, I don't mind reading with you, but only because I'm a reasonable, generous guy. Now say thank you. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> Her smile was contagious. 
I loved that smile dearly. It's so precious. And so the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. The end. Amazing. What is? The princesses in the picture books are all so strong and beautiful. No matter what happens, they always find happiness in the end. I want to be strong and beautiful like a princess. You're already... What? Nothing. So you want to be a princess? Yeah! I see. In that case, want to play pretend? Play pretend? Haven't you heard of it? You pretend you're somebody else for fun. It's like playing house. Well, I've never had any friends I could play with. Have you played pretend before, Alice? Uh, yeah. Uh, of course I have! Who do you take me for? A genius! That's right. You're very smart. I award you a gold star. Really? Does that mean you'll teach me how to play pretend? Sure. From that day forward, playing pretend became our favorite pastime. Truth be told, I was already playing pretend the moment I met her, but I wasn't brave enough to admit it. I was scared she wouldn't like me anymore. Arisa's sure taking a while. I hope she's okay. Sorry for the wait, dear customer. Here's that apple pie and chamomile tea you ordered. You're late. I almost fell asleep waiting for you. I'm sorry! <laughs> what up? Now hurry up and sit down. We can't start the tea party without you. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. What, you can't handle hot drinks? You're such a baby. Unlike you, I'm smart, mature, and capable enough to handle- Ah! Are you okay? Absolutely fine. <laughs> the instant I saw her smile, I could scarcely feel the pain. Oh, sorry for laughing. I didn't mean to be rude. You look better with a smile. Huh? Your smile is far more beautiful than your tears. And it takes more muscles to frown anyway, as they say. So, if it'll make you smile, I'm willing to do anything. If you need a helping hand, I'll be there to offer it. Because I like your smile about as much as I like my afternoon tea. Man, I wish I had this much game as a kid. Like, dang, this boy's got game. So you're saying you like it a lot? <clears throat> well? La 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 la! I can't hear you! Hey! Say it for me again! Come on! Those summer days were full of joy. And I believed it would last forever. Until it didn't. Alice! Alice! What is it? Then one day, I turned around and... Meow! She was holding a little black cat. Stop! Stop it, game! Stop it! This is illegal! Ugh! <laughs> Surprise! Cut! Yep, it's a cat! I found it over there. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> What's wrong? You look scared. Stay away! Don't come near me! What? I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? No, it's not you. It's that thing. The cat! Go get rid of it! <sighs> Alice, are you afraid of cats? Yes, okay. Aw, but she's so cute. Arisa frowned down at the little cat. Maybe cute to you, but it's not cute to me. 
It's okay, she's gone now. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad. Now everything was all awkward. Prior to this moment, I was tough and unflappable. But now she knew I was afraid of cats. Had I blown my cover, could she see through my disguise? So how come you're scared of cats? A long time ago, I tried to feed one, but they all started swarming me. Oh, yeah, that sounds scary. Could we keep this between us? How come? Because it's pathetic to be afraid of cats. Aw, oh, come on. I don't think you're pathetic at all. You... you don't? Nope. Well... You still have to keep it a secret, because I say so. Okay, I promise. In the end, she never saw through my little act. I think she saw through it right from the beginning, sir. That was the day we made our first promise. Little did we know, those happy summer days wouldn't last much longer. And so the season came to an end. What's up, Sourpuss? Where's your usual boundless energy? The lake is kind of like the ocean, huh? What? Are you stupid? The lake is nothing like the ocean. The ocean is big and wide and cool. Oh. Have you ever been to the ocean, Alice? No. I'd never even left this town before. That sucks. Too bad summer's almost over. Only then did I finally realize. When summer ended, I would no longer be able to play with her every day. You live in the city, don't you? I hear it's warmer there due to the air conditioning units and the asphalt roads reflecting the heat. Out here, we just have mountains and the lake, so it's always cold. All the stores close up early, and there's nothing fun to do, and the trains and buses only come once an hour, so you pretty much need a car to go anywhere. But at least we've got fresh air, clean water, and lots of nature. Yeah. I wish I could stay forever. Then... just stay forever. You could even live in my house if you wanted. Free room and board. No need to work or study. You'll never find a better bargain anywhere. Only a moron would pass this up. I can't. I'm just a kid. Well, you could come back on your next vacation. Your family's rich and owns a summer home out here, right? So... I could always meet her next summer. Or the summer after that. Or so I thought. But I was wrong. Actually, um... I'm leaving the country. We're going all the way across the ocean. Huh? So we probably can't see each other again. Oh. For a boy who had never set foot outside his hometown, I couldn't begin to imagine what the world was like on the other side of the ocean. Alice... I don't want to go. Tears filled her eyes. I only just met you, Alice. I don't want us to be apart. Right when I finally found a friend. Now I'm going to end up all alone again. Just when I finally got her to smile, now it was gone. What would he say in times like these? Don't cry, Alison. I took her hand as she wept. Alice? Good grief. You truly are a hopeless little needy baby. You're going to a different country, that's all. It's not like it's a different planet. If we really want to see each other, we can make it happen. I'll even write to you if you want. You will? Yeah. Not that I'd enjoy it or anything, but since you want me to, then I have no choice. Besides, 
I never repaid you for this ribbon I took. Lucky for you, I'm a kind, responsible guy with a strong sense of integrity. Yeah. Don't worry. I promise I won't let go. No matter how far away you are, we'll always be connected deep down inside. Basically, what I mean is... Goodbye doesn't have to be forever. If you ever want to see me again, then we'll find a way. You mean it? What? You think I'm lying? No, of course I believe you. You're my prince, after all. Y your prince? Yep. I'm really glad I met you, Alice. Before I met you, I was all alone in the dark. But then you found me, and you took me by the hand. And that's when a rainbow started shining into my life. A rainbow? Huh. <laughs> I'm hardly surprised. Who do you take me for? I'm your prince. I can make a rainbow with one hand tied behind my back. I'll snap my fingers and make a rainbow bridge over the ocean so I can come see you. That's so wholesome though. Precious beans. Here is a kid with me.